What's the occasion, guys? Where is everybody going? And hey, I hey, come keep away. Up. Hey, keep, keep out of shit. Send nudes. Just who is playing who today? Queen's Park Rangers are playing Coventry. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good selfie? No, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna say hi? Good selfie. Hola, hola. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Here is my favorite man. Hello. Hello, Hello. Mia Miao. Mia Mia. How are you? Uh, you remember me, yes. I remember you. Mia, now Mia. I know you got the best brain ever. Yes, Mia Mia. How are yeah, you? I never came here on Saturday, so I'm here to see what's happening. If, yes. if it's busier. Yeah, it's very busy. Is oh, it? QPR is playing today. Hope they win. QPR forever. I, I saw some. Umbrella. Oh, that's a nice umbrella. umbrella. That's a nice. next week, but QPR today. I see. Good luck to them. Good luck. <laughs> See, no, I want to see how busy it is on Saturdays. Every time I come here, it's extremely quiet. There is nobody here. Yeah, because uh, they, they keep missing the junction. Um, they end up in the pub. <laughs> I see. Yeah. No, I, I come here like during yeah. Monday, Tuesday. There yeah. is nobody here. Not, not many people yeah. here. That's why. You're here, which is important. Exactly. Yeah. See you later. Thank Bye, you. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. Meow, meow. So ladies and gents, here we are. I wasn't gonna talk in this video, but it's difficult. <laughs> 
you have to interact with people. <laughs> so my plan today guys is to start here in Shepherd's Bush Market. It's Saturday 29th of September. I need to double check the date when I have free hands. And we are gonna walk to Portobello Market. Portobello Road Market. That's the plan I checked. It's about 40 minutes walk. It's probably not gonna be interesting. Uh, I've never done it before. So it might be through residential streets or something like that. I'll try to see what it's like. So I made the effort to come here on Saturday, on a Saturday to see if it gets any busier than middle of the week. My friend Fossi is in Morocco now. He's filming all over Morocco. He's running, he's running out of places to go. He's just texting me that he basically finished Morocco in a few days. That's him. I'm able to film in one place for two weeks. <laughs> oh, this is what I need. I just, I just can't carry this with me the whole day. I need to buy two duvets to cover myself with and my current one is gonna be underneath underneath me underneath my bed sheet so I figured it out I'm gonna be prepared for winters like always it's like sleeping in, sleeping in clouds it's it's well worth the 15 pounds that you pay for it or whatever to put it underneath you you know so I don't sleep on the mattress, I sleep on another way, covered in a bed sheet, so it's nice. I've been here a few times already, maybe twice or three times. So I used to go quite in detail here, stop a lot and show what they are selling. And take my time. So if you would like to see more videos, um, search Girl in Paradise Shepherd's Market and they are gonna pop out for you. Pop up. Okay. <laughs> We've got some jewelry going on here for the ladies. When it comes to this, I don't consider myself a lady because I'm not into that at all. As I mentioned a few times, I like sporty stuff, Yo yoga pants, <laughs> leggings, not the yoga pants, sorry, leggings, that's a different story. Yoga pants are more like MC Hammer style, I've noticed, that's not me. <laughs> Yesterday, Friday night, I went to city center and I was filming for for an hour. So today you get to see London nightlife. Today I'm busy Saturday, so I can't go. But it's definitely the better time to go today than on Friday. 
Oh yeah, they still have those big bags. Do you remember I said, I'm gonna take Mr. Fossey to India in one of those against his will. <laughs> Do you see? That would be perfect. He could, he could almost fit there. But luckily he agreed to go by himself when he was, how to put it, after a few ice creams, he was in a good mood and he promised to go. It was his suggestion, you know, how people get happy after a few ice creams. Ice cream meaning beer, for those who don't know. <laughs> um, so it was his suggestions and he promised. And then he put himself, put pressure on himself um, to go. I never, I never really forced him, you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't really push him to do something that he promised <laughs> while he was under happy influence. But he said, I am a man of my word. And we went, it was good. Dem demanding, but a nice experience. Well, exhausting, <laughs> exhausting experience, but every experience is good. Hamdan coffee. I know there is another section of the market. We'll go there in a minute. I'm just gonna walk all the way back and then I'll enter the other part of the market that is on my left. If you live in the area or if you used to live here and have something to say about this area has it changed do you miss it if you moved out let me know in the comments i'm always happy to hear from local people thank you I don't know why this market is has never been my favorite or I don't know there is something about it most of the time it's kind of empty maybe I don't know let me check the time right now it's Saturday um, it's close to 3 p.m. quarter to three let me just show you this bag shop here and the date is 30th of September today so end of September I'm not saying it's empty but you know Ja, 
Oh my gosh, what is this? Osman vaccine juice. <laughs> what is that, guys? I've never seen anything like that before. Vaccine juice. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> So this is where we should end up at some point. I'm just gonna go all the way back and we'll come from the main road. Let me try to show you some shops here. You can see some clothes, some coats. Oh, coming here took such a long time for me. I, I was running out of patience people coughing and sneezing next to me. I, I felt so tempted to get out um, for Portobello Road Market. But I stayed on all the way here. It's, it's emptier, I guess, during the week, maybe, to travel here. Then on Saturday and Sunday full of kids, you know, and all that stuff, so, yeah. Busy train. Oh, Bobby. And you've got your butcher right there. I'll have to go back to Ridley Market and Brixton Market as well. It's been a long time. I keep thinking about it. I just never, I just never make it there these days. They're very good, but they used to be even better. What do they sell here? I see alarm clock. And watches and stuff. Let me go closer. Thank God we've got mobile phones these days and I don't have to wear a watch. You just get sweaty underneath there and it's metal. So um, I think I have some kind of metal, what you call it, allergy as well. Um, I'm not sure, but potentially it gets itchy if you wear that specific metal. I don't know what it is, especially on watch. I remember from a long time ago, so I'm happy not to wear them. You see there is a football match. It's going crazy here. What? Four for one fifty. Nice. They're always hard when I buy them, which is not often. Unfortunately, I wish I did. I love nectarines, Mr. Falafel. <laughs> Let me take a picture for my friend. I call him Falafel a lot. because he's fluffy and 
from Fluffy I ended up on Falafel, so that's how. That's the shop I remember now. It says, uh, we speak Falafel. Oh, they've got a bull. Let me get a picture of that bull. It's for the mighty bull in New York. Perfect. Can you see the bull properly, my dear? I see. Thank you so, so much. No problem. Thank you. Somebody in New York loves his mighty bull. Thank you so much. some underwear and some sewing happening and some food. Let me show this. Middle East kebab. Oh, grilled fish. That looks nice. Um, they've got okra stew, bean stew, rice, chickpeas. No, young lady, hello. This is not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, no, no problem. Anymore. No problem. As a new owner. Oh, is oh, so this is the from the previous owner. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, so what country, what nationality is the? Oh, nice, nice. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Try coffee. I will do one day. I will do. I had my coffee this morning. If I if I drink more, I will be shaking. I will try. Thank you so so much. Okay, take care. Bye bye. As I said, my friend is in Morocco as we speak. I don't have to travel. I ended up in some exotic countries here myself. Goodness, there is something happening. Can I see, can I see what he's doing, please? Thank you so much. What is he making? Naan. Naan bread. It's clean. Hello.
nice. Thank you so much. Oh, this is what it's gonna. No, that's pizza. Okay. French. French. Arabic. English. And you can take a little hour before the Hana. Okay. Look at all those big jackets here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Got the fabrics. And oh sorry, sorry, sorry. And dresses. Some makeup for the ladies. I realized yesterday it's been actually years since I wore makeup. <laughs> like two years. Well, maybe not, but you know. Twice a year, three times a year I wear makeup. I just, I just can't be bothered. I'm just too lazy. Life is busy. I need to plug my equipment, otherwise it's gonna die, potentially. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So yeah, I don't party, I don't go out, I'm too lazy to, even on my birthday and stuff. I'm always out and filming and I don't really have much social, social life going on, so my makeup days are over. I actually don't want to go this way. Whoa, look at that. Hello. It smells amazing. It smells like pineapple and oranges. Wow, amazing. Let's go back through here. Shall we go this way? I'm gonna ask to it It's another side street. I think this is the way I was showing you that I might end up here. I'm not sure. It's a little maze of little streets here. So yeah, we are heading out now. Soon I'll be checking the map where to go. Thank you. 
Honestly, being here transforms, transports me into a different place. I feel like I'm not in London, but somewhere like Middle East or India or Pakistan or something like that. Oh, so many police. Every two meters there is two of them. Party fun. I remember guys, last time I was here, there was an insane hail. I was hiding in one of these buildings. Um, it was crazy. I filmed it. So many police. See, everywhere. Hi to Brazil. Hi, from Brazil. <laughs> do, do, you li do you live here in West London? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm back to Brazil tomorrow. <gasps> yeah, holiday. just a holiday. Really? Whereabouts in Brazil? I stay. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, yes. the best. Everybody traveling is from Sao Paulo. Yeah, I love it. You are from Rio? Yeah, I stayed in Rio, I stayed in Jericoacoara, ah, Lengsoiz, yes. Fortaleza and yes. many other places. I know these places. Yeah, I love Brazil. I love, thank you. See you later. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Bye. you. Bye. Yeah, this is the place where I was hiding on these stairs. Thank God for these stairs. I would be as wet as a cat if not here, if I didn't hide there. And yeah, on this street I was showing how much ice there was on uh, cars' windows. Mamma mia, look at that. Let me try and show you. I love filming on Saturdays because it's usually busier than during the week. I wish I had Saturday every day so I can go to various locations like, I don't know, Wembley or other places and film it when it's busy. Otherwise, it's just ghost town and empty streets, you know. Westfield right there I can't remember how to get there properly if I should be walking straight or if there is a shortcut through there there must be a shortcut let me try and go through here but I think I, I like to stay 
on this road to show how busy it is. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna stay here on the main road. <laughs> there she is. I want the ghosting words now. Sorry? No, I say bad words in Portuguese now. Oh, okay. I see, I see. <laughs> I didn't realize they were next to me. <laughs> What is this? Trade. But look at their windows. What's going on there? That looks like they're wearing some kind of curtains or something like that. My goodness. I think that was a charity shop, that one there, the trade one. I love filming in West London. I love filming these areas because I almost never make it here, but it takes quite a long time for me to get here across the whole city. But as I said in my previous videos, I'm gonna make an effort to come here more and more. So here we are. And talking about that, boys and girls, please press the like button for the effort if you can. I will appreciate it, thank you. The more people watch it, the bigger motivation for me to come to all sorts of areas in West London. So that's how it works. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to get as much 
as many shops as possible for you guys so in case you used to live here so you can compare from the past if there is any change A little, I forget about that. I've got Yeah, I remember buying here strawberries and raspberries the other day and eating them eating them on some stairs it's very tricky eating fruits eating fruits like that on the go because you, you never know when it's gonna hit you and you need to go to the toilet after all those raspberries and and uh, strawberries they can have that effect so I think I think I've learned <laughs> yeah. And how I've learned was I was picking some blackberries yeah. in a, in a park a few years ago. They were delicious. They were just ripe and sweet and really nice. And then while I was still in the park, <laughs> I've learned the hard way. <laughs> I needed to go and find the closest toilet very fast. Too much info, I know, but learn from my mistakes. <laughs> oh, have me as an example next time you want to eat stuff like that in public what, what a what an amazing art huh huge i used to work in this in this business long time ago uh for an american company we used to do billboards vinyl and backlit and all that along highways Oh, there will be security around here as well because uh, because of the football match. <laughs> but I filmed around here before, so I know what I can or can't do. Basically, as, lo as long as I stay outside of the shopping center, I'm fine around here. But they don't want anybody with a camera inside. Unless you get lucky and nobody sees you, or I don't know, but they, they seem to be quite hyperactive about people going 
in the shopping centre with cameras. Which is funny because I actually did get away with, uh, with my equipment in uh, Westfield, in Stratford. Nobody ever stopped me there, like inside, you know. I didn't feel much, so maybe eventually, eventually somebody would stop me, but here they let you know, like literally here on this pavement, that you can't go in, not, not while you are inside, so. Literally, this is the place where they stopped me like twice while I was filming here in the past, telling me I can't go in. When I was just walking straight, I wasn't even intending to go in, so. Another ball for the mighty ball, but I gave him this one before, so... Right here. The whole of Westfield, you are not allowed. Seriously? Yes. I was just saying in my video that in the past people would stop me on this walkway saying I can't go in. No. But this here is, I was okay. This is still our premises. Okay. Nobody is allowed to do that. Okay. 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 You stop now, otherwise. Uh, oh. So I was told, as you could possibly hear on the video, I'm not allowed to film even in that pavement, on that pavement around Westfield. Um, in the past it was okay. Today there is a lot of like police presence and stuff because of football match, I think. So they are going more bananas than usual, potentially, I don't know. Now we are gonna try, I know it's blinking. Now we are gonna try and walk towards Portobello Road Market. We are done in Shepherd's Bush. It's so busy. It's a shame because there were so many people. It was so good to film around there, you know. Such is life. Massive, absolutely massive. Look how small the people are. You see?
So I asked somebody for a graph directions towards Portobello Road Market and he said go up the stairs, turn left, go over a bridge and then go down. But did he say go along the bridge? <laughs> oh my dog. Well, I think he meant to the other side. Yeah, for sure. Today should be a nice walk going from Shepherd's Bush Market to Portobello Road Market. Ooh, we've got some meow meows, <laughs> some small houses there. Next time. I did consider going to Hampstead today. Hampstead is on the on the list as a, as a priority to go to. The only thing is, I don't want to kill my Saturday for a quiet area. You know, there is not much going on there. It's like nature. I can go there on Wednesday. You know, I'm not gonna meet any people. For Saturday and Sunday, I, I like to go to busy places and central London and Covent Garden, whatever, you know. So, yeah, I'm just saying I, I will go there for sure. Maybe on this coming week, let's see. Oh, look, there is some mosque going on here. So the name of these mules is Royal Crescent Mules. They look nice. ask you a uh, uh, portable road market that's okay thank you you see my map says I should go straight and then turn somewhere but
if she says this way, let's follow the lady. See, in my country, they make tea from this vitamin C <laughs> tea. The thing is, vitamin C is supposed to be destroyed by hot water. So I don't really know how it works. Maybe uh, some percentage will, will get and some will stay. Who knows? I don't have a lab in my house. I don't know how it works. Pretty. This is Queensdale Road that we are on. I'm just gonna slowly turn. This is Saint Saint Anne's Villas right here. That's nice as well. West London is beautiful. You see these villas, they're massive. Let me go in the middle of the road here. Seems to be quiet enough for me to do so. guys if you if you saw my Italian video from Burano which is an which is an island close to Venice in Italy all these buildings are nothing compared to what they have there they have vivid pastel colors on the houses it's up with the sunshine and a canal going through that through there absolutely gorgeous and literally every single house is painted. It's a magical place. Look at all these leaves, boys and girls. That looks gorgeous. I'm tall enough to put my camera through here. And one with the arch. It looks unreal. Now I can call this an autumn walk. We've got some red leaves in the in the video. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even look at the map anymore. I'm just going with the flow. This is a nice area. It says Addison Avenue. I'm gonna check them up in a while.
Queensdale walk. Like I understand not everybody wants kikiriki colors, kakodadu colors on their houses. This is nice and like pastel and decent and you know what I mean. But still, that place in Italy is outrageously gorgeous. Looks nice, huh? Zoomed in too much. Look at that. Looks pretty. That's a nice touch. It's four o'clock. Oh, I see a chandelier, chandelier inside of one of these houses on my left. Oh, the bad news is I might be forced to stop talking at some point. Could be in a few weeks, in a few months. Because I've noticed I sound funny. The S sound is no longer what it used to be. <laughs> I know I sound ridiculous, but uh, my teeth are chopping away the front ones. I destroyed them by eating 30 kilos and more of sunflower seeds and using my front teeth to peel them, which is extremely abrasive on the teeth. Now I know. Um, and now they are starting to slowly like chip away and the air is getting through some weird places there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So they quoted me last time I checked like 15,000 pounds. I kid, I kid you not. Oh my gosh, look at this door. Nice color. In Hampstead Dental Studio, whatever it's called, they said like 15,000 to start with. And you know, it's because obviously like to replace one tooth in the front or whatever, it's just, you're yeah, not gonna match the color of the rest of the teeth. So they jumped in and said basically to deal with all the teeth and stuff, which is not what I want to do. Because once you start messing with your teeth, then it's a disaster as far as I know from people who have done so. So I don't have a solution, I haven't done any research I procrastinate on this matter big time and my situation is quite complex it's not so easy uh, you need to have enough material to put crowns or stuff like that we may be looking at implants and stuff so I don't make this number up you know it's it's a it's not an easy situation so yeah, instead of me sounding like a snake, I might have to stop talking, which is absolutely crazy, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> you know me, I love to talk. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's gonna be for the best for my channel, to be honest. Quiet videos seem to perform better anyway, so maybe I'll be forced. So yeah, I don't look forward to the near future. Hopefully, wish me luck. Uh, I don't want to be dealing with this at all, to be honest. I just want to be born again. I just want to be born again with perfect set of teeth. Costs a lot of money, it's painful, it's never gonna look good. Oh, disaster. To be honest, I don't know where I'm going. I just assume I'm gonna end up there somehow. Okay, maybe it's time to check the map. And I never wanted to end up being that person who has funny color front teeth that don't match the rest of the teeth. And it looks like I will end up like that. I'm just gonna move away out of London somewhere where nobody can see me to do people a favor. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is cute. And this is a spider staircase to heaven, to your mouth when you sleep. Noise. I'm happy sun is out. Everything looks better when a little bit of sun is on. Okay. I remember being here in the past. Something tells me I should actually go that way to the market, let me see. I can go straight. Nice. Taking pictures for Instagram to entertain you, boys and girls. Let's go. Look at this house full of plates on it.
you see those colors here are so pa so pale you can barely see them in that burano place it was hot pink in your face and then green and all sorts of things it was amazing there i just can't get over how gorgeous that place was beautiful anyway i should start looking at the map uh, uh, uh. yeah i can go straight here I like this blue and baby blue and light purple, pink, pink, whatever it is, and green looks nice. Has it always been like this, like so many colorful houses, or is it more and more since they've noticed um, those few houses? started to be crazy popular and Instagram people were coming to, the, to that place. So these guys want some att attention, love and attention as well. I swear there is more and more people. I don't think it was this colorful in the past. What do you say, guys? I don't come here often enough to actually know, so I'm asking you. Nice street, right? Let me take a picture. Let me take a picture like that. Perfect, let's go. Yeah, for me it's important to have some sun when I'm in West London. It only shows nicely with some sun on. Also the white buildings look so nicer, so much nicer. Um, with the sun on. Oh, my Instagram is gonna be full of these houses. Wow, they don't even have just one color. They've got some other, stu other stuff going on there, you see? And let me slowly turn, like literally all houses are now, now painted colors, you see?
And the colors are nice. It looks like it's freshly painted. You still have scaffolding on that thingy there, on that house there. So potentially it's fresh, who knows? I'm keeping my eyes open for some sports cars in this area. I don't see any so far, really. How, now, how nice is this? I've been here before, I know precisely where we are now. I love this one with the, with the trees. Yeah, million percent, this is a new thing with so many houses painted. I'm pretty sure it used to be all white before. But can somebody let me know, just in case I was wrong, but I'm, I'm sure I'm not wrong about this. I remember a few years ago, there used to be only like four houses in like on multiple places, you know, but only like four in a row and they got all the attention from Instagrammers and people taking pictures and stuff. Now you can't even see anybody because it's everywhere. I think that's the case. Let me know. Now it's four o'clock, let's see how busy it is in uh, Portobello Road Market. Maybe it's not busy, let's see. But these houses are amazing, huh? What do you say, guys? How many floors can we see? One, two, three four and let's say they got two more or one one more underground so five six floors i would say it's five oh sorry six altogether one two three four let's see i don't
and I'm trying to see how long it is to walk to Harrods from here. 53 minutes. Now it's four o'clock, that would take me to five. Uh, if I stay a little bit around here, through the park, through Hyde Park. I don't rule it out. Could be a long walk today. So where to go boys and girls? Shall we go he here a little bit and then back? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that. My god, it's busy. I'm not used to this being so busy. Maybe I always come here quite early, I don't know, 12, 1, and it just feels so busy today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think I come here at 4 o'clock ever. Thank 
I'm happy Notting Hill Carnival is over. That was really hard work for a few days. I spent crazy hours walking around. Now I'm back to my normal, more human friendly routine. Definitely not 10 hours of filming. <laughs> That's the portobello print and map shop. I think Maria said a long time ago she liked it. They've got some silverware in there. The only problem is the blinking frequency is not agreeing and we've got a crazy blinking going on killing your eyes I keep on forgetting to do something about it I'll have to fix it so I can go and show you more more of the products here What's going on here? Why so many people? Fine antiques. I saw on the news a picture, a painting that was apparently it was two thousand pounds or something like that. That was returned back to the store twice, apparently. I don't know uh, for being haunted, and the people who bought it were chased by a black uh, creature, <laughs> apparently. So. They just dropped it back in and didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> that would be me, me, guys. As I said, IKEA all the way, guys. No antiques in my house. You see, we see some maps. There is my palm tree and let's walk all the way to the food if there is any left. It's gonna take us another few minutes to get there. Oh, 
Now it's not as busy here as when I was coming up, or maybe this was the quiet part of the road. Maybe yeah, it might get busier down there with the stalls. Here there is nothing. That's why. Looks like it's some kind of tour going on. They close at six o'clock, so some of them, I guess, are gonna be packing soon. Kind of bends here. Just catching up on like other roof. I find this shop um, fascinating. Every time I walk by, I try to stop. This 
is so foreign to me. I don't know what people do do with these. Um, and I've been to quite a few incredible houses. You just keep them in the drawer. Is it is it to make money of it or is it for um, what you call it? I can't find a word right now. Sentimental reasons or why do they buy it? Because I see young people going through them, so I don't think that's something from their from their childhood. I don't think that's the case. So is it to try to sell it later or just keep it and then try to sell it, you know, in a few years or what? Oh, this. Oh, listen, I have to ask. So I did ask what's going on here and oh it's blinking, blinking quite a lot Sorry. but the, the magnifying glasses are for gentlemen to be reading their newspapers and they sell shaving kits at the same time so it's not for shaving your third leg area <laughs> And needing a magnifying glass not to chop it off i'm joking guys i'm joking i've been walking a long time my brain cells are not in the right place as you can tell but yeah no i was wondering in the past what it is so i did ask because it's been on my mind for quite a while and he said it's for reading newspapers like how would i know oh my dog what's going on here <laughs> Mr. Orange. Hello. I Mr. Tango. <laughs> Tango. I love this. Take care, sir. Including Take the shoes. According Have you seen the glasses? Yeah, oh my god. Incredible. Thank you so so much. You're See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Mr. Orange. <laughs> I've never actually been inside on the left. There is a whole antique market going on there red lion area i have to remember and sort out my blicking stuff and go there one day go there one day and see what's going on i need to remember to sort it out the strawberries
How are you streaming? Currently I'm watching video from my friend in Morocco. He's showing me some street food on my second phone. Right here. <laughs> These are so nice to touch. I could touch them all day, those bugs. That looks very nice. You see, some of these are packing up, going home. I'm getting quite hungry. There are so many smells, lovely smells around here. I was gonna walk to Harrods. Yeah, but I don't think I will, to be honest. I might jump on the tube and go eat back home. See, at this time there is no food left, all eaten up. Well, on the other side they've got something, but not much. These guys are still going strong, strong. So many people around, oh my goodness. Two friends. dream catchers for people who actually sleep which is not myself 
I don't have any dreams. Too much cola and coffee. I dream about more coffee and cola. <laughs> It's nice with the sun on it. If I remember correctly, those houses, I think on this street where this is Lancaster Road, where one of those very original ones. I might be wrong, uh, but some my intuition tells me it was kind of on this road or in this area where they started to paint it and then the whole Notting Hill um, area took on. Let me turn around for this little car. It has eyelashes, you see that? Eyelashes extensions. Let me take a picture. Maybe somebody will like it. Pepperon Cafe. Anyway, let's go. colors here that's more Burano kind of colors in Italy like really vibrant colors not not light colors like proper in your eyes in your, in your face you can see that video if you put girl in paradise Burano B B U R a N O Burano. Uh, that specific video will pop up for you, so you can see the the difference between this area and what they do in Italy. beautiful lions. Where is um, Leonard Smith when we see these gorgeous lions?
it's not as busy here, which is amazing. If you couldn't hear audio in the last few minutes or seconds, it's because there was a popular music playing and I have to re remove it, so... Oh, it's blinking, sorry. Oh my god, they are selling ducks! <laughs> oh my god, I can't resist. Looking good, looking like the best one I've ever seen actually. Oh, look, this is homemade pasta, oh, sorry, gnocchi. food the best pork yum 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 hello ma'am what can I get hello. you so far I'm just looking thank you so much thank you That's a good idea. I need to learn. I used to make them in the past, but I need to learn more varieties.
salir por donde entramos
So true. I don't have a cat. <laughs> So ladies and gents, if you couldn't hear audio throughout the video, it's because there is loud music playing and I can't have that for copyright reasons, so I have to remove it here and there. And uh, yeah, the video is finished. I've had enough, more than enough human, human interaction. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, it's been hectic. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please press the like button, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye!